What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about stop and go batch. Try to watch the whole video so it will make full sense because if you miss a part, you'll lose the whole point of the video. I'll try to make it as short as possible anyway. And after watching, please let me know in the comment section what do you think. So now for the activation for the most part, the badge activates when you let go of your left stick and let your player fully stop. But there are some other moves though that you don't need to fully stop and you can just proceed to the next move as long as you time it well. As you can see here, I just did a momentum cross before Steph even fully stopped. There's a lot of other sequences that will activate the badge. It's really hard to enumerate every move that will activate it. But I always say this in my videos that if you really want to know if your dribbling animations will trigger the badge, I recommend to equip your dribbling sticks like edit a player and go to blacktop. Now, you gotta be careful though because this part of the screen here will mislead you in lots of ways. As you can see here, in this sequence here, the badge activated, right? Leaving you an impression that, oh, that looks good, that's stop, then that's go, then the badge activated. Great, I love the badge, it makes my step back blow by really explosive. But the truth is, the only reason why the badge activated is because you stopped for a bit here. And since this part of the screen here is delayed, when there's a lot of other badges activated simultaneously, you had no idea what really went down, like you had no idea which part of the animation or the exact move that activated the badge. That thing there creates a lot of confusion. As you can see here, exactly the same move, but this time I didn't stop, so badge didn't activate. So what I highly recommend is edit a player, put your six on, take off those playmaking badges like handles for days, quick first step, quick chain or whatever, and just leave stop and go. You can still make all your dribble moves without them anyway. So in this way, you can really identify which exact move activates the badge. That will remove a lot of confusion. As you can see here, by doing that, I know that stop and go badge activated because I stopped here. So I really recommend to do that blacktop thing. Roughly, that will only take like 10 to 15 minutes anyway, rather than wondering the whole time if your dribble moves are really using the badge. Now that we know which moves activates the badge, now it's time to see what it really does to those moves. But before we go right into it, just want to invite you guys to like the video if you're liking so far and make sure to subscribe because I'll be doing lots of badge testings and retestings for the next days. You don't want to miss that out. I'm going to clear a lot of things. So now going back for the definition, it improves player's ability to start and stop with the ball. So let's start first with the stopping part. So now for the test, we'll be timing how long does it take for a player to fully stop on all badge upgrades and we'll get the average. I've been doing this process for a long time on other badges, but the tricky part here is that it's hard to know when to start the timer. With Hustler badge, there's a stamina snap, so I know that the animation is about to start, but with stop animation, there's nothing like that. There was a problem, but of course, Chutes will find a way. So what I did is I start the timer the first frame the moment I remove my thumb from the left stick, then stop it the moment the player fully stopped. I know it's a lot of work, but I believe this is the only way to make accurate stats. And here are the results, and as you can see here, the results are linear. So meaning, there is no sweet spot at all. So that's it for the stopping part of the badge, and now for the start or launch of the dribble. But unfortunately though, it's really hard to test for that, so let's just consult Mike Quang's tweet here to confirm if it really helps on launching of the dribbles. And he mentioned here that it boosts the stops and first steps. So it's clear now, and I assume whatever boost you get from stopping, it's the same proportion of boost you get from launches. I know it's a tweet from 2019, but I don't think they will change how the badge really works. So in summary, it activates when you let go of your left stick and make your player fully stop, and try that blacktop procedure that I mentioned earlier to really know if your dribbling moves really uses the badge and there is no sweet spot on the badge upgrades. You can push it to Hall of Fame as you please, it all depends on your preference. So again, let me know in the comment section what do you think about the results. So that's all for the video. If you guys like it, please smash that like button and please consider subscribing for more videos. And don't forget to drop by the channel for lots of other contents. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.